out here in the beautiful lower mainland of British Columbia with Vancouver FC head coach Afshin Gotvi, uh, who's going into his second year and this club's second year uh, existing in the Canadian Premier League. Just to start us off, how exciting is it to be back at it, be looking at you know, another season coming pretty quickly? I think it was the 2nd of November that I was announced as the coach and this journey has uh, in a way it's been transforming for myself because I've learned so much about Canadian football but just starting a startup football club and this off season we really had to uh, re kind of uh, organize uh, who we want to be and redefine it and uh, but we have to in this such a young league we have to show that uh, by the second season we're a contender and we're a team that uh, can produce quality performances and get the results necessary uh, to challenge their trophy at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, I know it was a long year, but I think in, at the end of it, you might have wanted a few more weeks because you guys did seem to be clicking in that last month and a half. I think you yeah. won four of your last six games. Yes, I think, I think to be honest, we're, we're just a few games short of making the playoffs. I think if uh, some of the games towards the end of the stretch would have gone our way, the performance was good enough, but the result didn't come. Uh, we've been able to uh, really uh, evaluate every decision that we made the year before and improve upon that. And uh, we have a much better coaching staff, we have a much better selection in the locker room. Uh, we've built the club uh, in a way, uh, in all different departments, uh, in a better way in the second season. Some of the, the players that have come in, I mean guys like Ben Fisk, Paris G, David Norman, these are all players that know this league quite well. Yes. Uh, how important do you think it will be to have some of those guys who, you know, obviously you guys learned a lot last year, but all these guys who have been in this league for a while and maybe know a little bit about what it takes. I think this, it's, it's important. We see it all over the world, in every league in the world. You need to have the core of your players familiar with the, the culture of, the, of the, the game in that country. And I think last year we had so many new players that have never either played professional football nor played uh, 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 in Canada or in the CPL. So I think um, those are the things we got right this season uh, and only time will tell that uh, how can they integrate as a team and produce the performances that uh, gets us in a position that we want to be. That was a big theme here last year of how many opportunities guys like James Cameron, Anthony White, TJ, Tyler Crawford, all these players had to play for this team. How this year do you maybe push those players to continue to take that next step and, and you know keep that a theme of this club, especially when you know the squad might be a bit deeper and maybe minutes are harder to come by? Well, that's always been the mission statement and one of the, the uh, uh, objectives and the goal of the football club is is to develop international players. Uh, we we as a club maybe didn't win so many games, I think eight games total, but the fact that we produced two youth international players for Canada uh, speaks volume of the project and what we are trying to do here. A lot of those names I mentioned and some of the others that have come in, again, Vancouver area players, I, I think a lot of fans that will come into this building will see their community represented. Yes. How important is that to kind of the fabric of this club for being you know, a club for Vancouver? Yeah. I, I think f uh, for me it's always been important that if you are a, 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 a Vancouver FC team, you must uh, show the face of Vancouver, you must represent Vancouver and the BC area. Again, Vancouver FC's home opener, April 14th, I believe yep. right here yes. against Valor Football Club. Certainly one of the teams we're very excited to watch play this year, Ashley, thank you so much. Thank you so much.